Welcome to Lecture Online. Let's see what our next expression has in store for us. It has exponents, parentheses, radicals. Quite interesting. So again, we need to follow the order of operations. Let's first eliminate parentheses. In the numerator here, we can have 6 minus 2. We can simplify that. So this becomes equal to minus the quantity 6 minus 2, which is 4 minus negative 3 to the second power. You may say, well, why did you keep the parentheses there? Because there was a negative sign in front of it. Whenever there's a negative sign in front of parentheses, I want to keep the parentheses there to do the right thing with the negative sign. Divided by the cube root of 1 minus 9. Now, 1 minus 9, that's equal to minus 8. So go ahead and plug in minus 8. Now we can get rid of these parentheses by simply putting the negative in front of the 4. So this is equal to minus 4 minus negative 3 squared, which is negative 3 times negative 3, divided by the cube root of negative 8. So in the numerator, we can simplify that by multiplying negative 3 times negative 3, which is negative 3 squared. This is equal to minus 4 minus negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9, divided by what's the cube root of minus 8? Well, I'm looking for a number when I multiply it by itself three times, I get negative 8. So I believe this number will do the trick. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 8, which means the cube, the cube root of negative 8 is equal to negative 2, which means we can write this as negative 2. Now we need to simplify the numerator. So this gives us minus 4 minus 9 is minus 13 divided by minus 2. And of course, when we have one negative number divided by another negative number, that cancels out. So this is equal by to 13 divided by 2, or it could be written as 6.5. Either way, that's the answer to this problem. And that's how it's done.